the heart, which sits right in the middle of your chest, is a very elegant pump. And we talk about it sort of having two systems. The right side of the heart, which takes the dark blood from the venous side of your body and pumps it through your lungs. And the left side of the heart, which does more of the working function of your heart, includes the left ventricle and the left atrium, which takes the blood from your lungs and delivers it throughout your body. There are four valves in your heart, two on the right and two on the left. The two valves on the right side of the heart are the tricuspid valve and the pulmonic valve. And the two valves on the left side of the heart are the mitral valve and the aortic valve. Those are most commonly the ones that are diseased, the ones on the left side of the heart. And so we'll talk a little more detail about them. The mitral valve sits right in the middle of the heart. And that valve keeps blood flow going in one direction as it comes from the lungs to the left side of the heart. It goes through that valve after it picks up fresh oxygen. And then that blood is pumped by the left ventricle out into the aorta and across the aortic valve. The aortic valve sits inside the aorta, which is the huge blood vessel that carries blood flow throughout your entire body, not only in your chest, but down into the abdomen and the rest of your body. And the aorta is a very large blood vessel, more than an inch across. But the first thing the heart does before it sends the blood flow through your body is it has to bring blood flow to itself. And that's what the coronary arteries do. There's a right one that comes off of the aorta right here, and a left one that comes off behind it and branches quickly into two other big arteries that feed the left side of the heart. The heart needs blood flow just like the rest of the organs in your body do, and that's the first thing that the heart does.